Beautiful sunny day here in Vancouver, BC, and I'm here on my rocking chair, rocking out, about to grab my guitar and hop on my bike head to the ocean. I'm gonna show you guys there how I make a virtual reality 360 degree video using a GoPro Max and coming back to my home studio here and dumping it into Adobe Premiere Pro and all the magic that happens in between. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for notifications, and uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so here we are at New Brighton. And uh, got this bad boy here, the GoPro Max, set up on my Gorilla Pod. All right, so this bad boy's got a 180 lens on that side and another 180 lens on that side. Um, so it can shoot. It basically stitches it together to shoot into 360 degrees. So let's set this up. Right, so the settings for this, there's a button on the bottom left here. You push that, hang on. Push that and it flips it into 360 mode. That switches between hero mode and 360 mode. And that's about all you need to do. I mean, there's some settings in here. You can, you can go into... Uh, your preferences and, and and set all that stuff up, but usually just out of the box, it kind of comes set up how you how you'd want it. And here, if you go into 360 video, you can edit that. Where do you go here? So it's in. We're shooting in in 5.6K here. Auto shutters on. Uh, white balance have it set to auto minimum ISO uh, 100, maximum 200. It's pretty bright out here. I'm using the uh, GoPro um, color uh, scheme, and uh, the audio is set to record in 360 plus stereo. So there's actually uh, two mics, I think, on the front of this, and four mics on the back, six microphones to record an ambisonic sound. And um, yeah, wind is set to auto, so that's gonna, you know, there was a bit of wind. There is a bit of wind here, so we'll see, see how it sounds. And that's about it for settings. So um, yeah, let's let's set this, set this up here and shoot. All right, so now that that's all done, let's head back to the studio and we'll drop it into Premiere. See what we can do with it. All right, so I'm gonna open up my GoPro player here. Uh, if you don't have this GoPro player software on your Mac or PC, you should uh, get it from the GoPro website. I'm running a PC here. I'm uh, going to go open media, navigate to the SD card that contains the files that you want to work with. This is a .360 file that comes out of the GoPro Max. I'm going to double click that. And then it opens up here. You can preview the file. Uh, you can mess around with some fun perspective stuff. But what we want to do is go file export and to keep these settings as they are for now and then navigate to the folder where you'd like to uh, export the file and what's going to happen is it's going to render the file from a dot 360 file into a dot move file a dot mov file which we can then import into adobe premiere pro um i'm going to skip this fun part here the exporting part and just jump right into premiere okay so before we go into premiere pro uh i want to have this I want my video to have spatial audio. So what we need to do is extract the spatial audio, the ambisonic audio file from this dot 360 file. There's no easy way, unfortunately, like when you use the, the GoPro software there, it doesn't have a button that just says export with ambisonic audio. I am not sure why they left that out, but you, what you have to do is get this FF MPEG and I'll leave the description, the link to that in the description here. And then you're going to run a lot of code that I'm also going to leave in the description for you. And what you want to do is extract the ambisonic audio from this dot 360 file. So on a windows on a PC, you shift right click, then you can open a uh, PowerShell window and you're going to paste that code. And what you want to do is go back and delete this 
and replace it with this file name here, the file that you want to use, and then hit enter. And then it outputs uh, an ambisonic, like a four channel first order ambisonic file, which you can then import into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now note that for this to work, all these files like the, the dot 360 file and the FFmpeg file have to be in the same bin in the same folder in order for it to work. All right, we're going to hop into Premiere now. All right, so opening up Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm running uh, 2023 version on my Windows computer here. Going to go new project. Uh, here you can assign where you're going to put what folder you're going to put it into. And I'm going to call this GP Toot GoPro Tutorial. I'm going to hit create. It's going to take a second because this new version that I just installed is running a little bit slower, responding kind of slow on my PC for some reason. Um, <clears throat> once you're in, you're open here in Adobe Premiere Pro, you're going to want to go uh, File, New, Sequence. And then here under Sequence Presets, I'm going to open up a VR uh, preset. You want to make sure that you, if you want to use Get Spatial Audio, you want to open one of the presets that has an Ambisonics uh, option on it. There's no 5K preset, and we shot uh, 5K on the GoPro, but that's easy enough to fix after the fact. So you can double-click this. Uh, not sure why that's... Uh, this is a new version of <clears throat> Premiere for me. Um, now you want to bring in some... Oh, uh, you want to bring in some content here. So we're gonna, you can right-click here, and you can go Import. But I've got this folder here that has my... This is my ambisonic audio I extracted, and this is the video that I want. So I'm going to throw those over here. Um, and then you want to, I'm going to bring this into the sequence. And this is where it throws up this error where you can, it's, it's saying that we're trying to drop a 5K clip into a 4K sequence, but we're going to change it. And boom, that's done. Um, so before you can see this in 360, right now it's just kind of stretched out. Uh, you have to go into this. Uh, I already have it here. This toggle VR video display. Usually that's not here by default. And the w how you can get that is uh, here. I'll just actually uh, you clip this little plus sign here, which is the button editor. And you'll find it in here. And then you just drag it down there, drop it in. So I bought, I've already got it there. Um, then you'll, if we click that now, it's not going to do anything. What we have to do is go up to sequence. Uh, sequence settings again and then go down to the bottom here where it says VR properties and under projection you want it to be epirectangular horizontal capture view 360 and then monoscopic is the kind of type of footage that we shot uh, I'm gonna put this at full res for now and then when you click this you'll get a little square you can drag uh, around it's a 360 video uh, 360 view now and then click the settings icon here and go up to VR video because I like to First of all, make this 180 going across for the horizontal view, so it's a little more um, can, see, can see a little bit more. Looks a little more like a video. Um, then I'm gonna go back up here, and I like to get rid of these controls, these things down here. I don't really use them. I just grab it and drag and drop. So now we got a little more video real estate going on. Next thing you want to do is go to the uh, audio the ambisonic audio clip here which is a four channel audio file you want to go modify audio channels and then set the clip channel format to adaptive which will it'll say there's four audio uh, channels in there and you want to turn this into if you leave it set with the number of audio clips four it's going to put four different uh, mono tracks it's going to make four different tracks we want to put this as a four channel audio asset on one track so I'm gonna go like this so now when I drag and drop this over here instead of putting it one two three four down like that it's gonna be all in one and if I hold down alt and scroll my mouse wheel here I can open this up and you'll see there's one two three four channels of audio there uh, and in order to to monitor this as ambisonics you can go up here in the uh, settings little wrench here go monitor ambisonics and then we want to go window uh, audio track mixer not audio clip mixer but audio track mixer we're going to go here and then this little arrow up here in the left corner 
is the drop down for the uh, where you put all your plugins. So if you've if you've worked in a DAW before, I use uh, Steinberg Nuendo, but it's uh, similar in Pro Tools and all that. Um, this is where you can open up um, the plugins that are available in Premiere. And here, uh, not under stereo imagery, under special, I'm going to go binauralizer. So now when you listen with headphones, you should be able to hear the audio uh, sort of move around. It's tracked. So like you, um, for those of you that don't know, the way that that works is if you hear the audio source coming, it's like, say, for example, my guitar is here. And if I have my headphones on, and if I move this over to the right, you'll hear the audio coming out of your, your right ear a little bit more. If I drag it over here, you'll hear the audio coming out of your left ear a little bit more. So once you've, you're finished all your color correction and your editing and whatever other fun stuff you're working on with your video, I'm not going to go through any of that stuff in this video. Um, before we export, we want to make sure that the binauralizer, which is good for uh, monitoring ambisonics and headphones while you're sort of uh, um, when you're editing you don't want to have that on while you're rendering the video so we want to turn that off then we're going to go export i'm going to leave this title as it is you can put whatever title you want uh, location um, i'm going to change this from h264 to h265 which is a little better for vr video under the video drop down window i'm going to go render at maximum depth um, I use hardware encoding. It's a little bit faster if you have the graphic card for it. Um, I'm going to go highest quality. And then under VR video, um, video is VR. If you want to click that box, it'll tell you it's monoscopic, 360 field of view. Under the audio uh, menu, the most important thing here is to, if you want to have an um, ambisonic um, audio render, then you got to change this from stereo to 4.0. Then you hit export, and it's going to take a little while because I'm rendering a high-quality uh, 360 video file with Ambisonic Audio. And there you go. So then you can take it out, dump it into your Oculus or whatever VR headset you have. If you want to go that route, or you can just uh, upload it to your favorite video platform like YouTube that supports monoscopic 360 VR video and also supports first-order four-channel Ambisonic Audio. If you like the uh, this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up and... Uh, Check out my channel, consider subscribing, hit the bell button for notifications, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of 360 content you guys are working on. Thank you.